Hey guys, LAP Productions here, and as of the time of recording this, it is now Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving everyone. And now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now, welcome to Tribute to Cold Week, episode, not episode, video 4, the last one for Tribute to Cold Week. I know it said that I said this would be 6 videos, but honestly I just can't think of anything else really to do for videos, so... Yeah, and as some of you probably have been waiting, it is probably the most obvious thing that I'm going to do for Tribute to Cold Week, and it's going to be, this is the review for Master of the Mountain, Season 14, aka Cole's very first season. To begin with, I'm going to start about things that I really liked. Obviously, the big thing is we finally got to see Cole's mother. Now, there were all a bunch of theories about who could she be, who she could be. That's the same thing. I just repeated it. Uh, but I'm just glad that we finally got to see it. And we also got to see a whole different side of Cole. Because you see, we see him happy and lovable, eating cake. Um, but now, like, we saw more of a sadder part of him. And we got to see his mother, which was a pretty sad scene that I really liked because I feel like we got to more we got to learn more about Cole. So it, I really liked that about about the season. Something else that I really liked was Vanya. Now she does talk a lot, so yeah, <laughs> but I feel like she served her purpose and she was decently enjoyable. And I feel like she was very helpful, too, with all this information that she knew, so. And honestly, I feel like it would be nice to see her again in future seasons, maybe as an ally. So, like, maybe, you know, I mean, she was very useful here. I feel like she could be very useful in any other thing, any other things, you know. And she did have pretty funny moments when she's like, Cole's a leader, duh. <laughs> Which I found pretty funny because Cole was originally the first leader of the ninja when there were ninja when there were originally three of them Cole Zane and Cole wait no Cole Zane and Jay uh, Cole was the leader so and so I just found that funny how she's like yeah Cole's the best he knows everything he's smart he's awesome he's a leader so I just found that funny um, another thing that I really enjoyed about the season was the fighting between the gecko and the months. There was a lot of funny scenes where with them just fighting over the blades and I just found them very funny and we got some pretty nice scenes. Not nice scenes, but like pretty funny scenes that I really, uh, that I chuckled at, you know. Like it didn't make me burst out into laughter, but I did chuckle a bit. And another thing is the Upley. The Upley, I feel like very nice, were very nice characters. A lot of them have pretty nice bits. Like Corgran, how he talked in the first person, or was it third person? Yeah, third person, right? Yeah, he talks in the third person. Sorry, guys, I don't pay attention in school. Uh, he talks in the third person, like Karloff, and I like that he made him from Metalonia because, of course, they said Car Car uh, Karloff was from Metalonia because Metalonia, you know. So I like that we get another person from Metalonia. So that's, that was pretty nice. And also, like, with Plondar, with his things with the dice, I found just all these different bits about the characters I found funny. So I, f I really liked the Ubly, and I really found, I really found the, I really found to enjoy them while they were on screen. So, um, another thing that I really liked about this season was the, f the way that the, of, of the ruling of the Geckles. The way that they decide, like, who's going to be the chancellor for the Geckles. How they just throw rocks at them. Like, whenever the chancellor says something and they agree with it. And, like, it led to funny scenes with Zane just throwing rocks at Kai. And we got some uh, pretty funny moments with uh, Nia being the queen of the months. And how, like, she won against that original queen of the months. So, just a lot of funny scenes with the Gecko in the months. I, I really found to, to enjoy them. Another thing is, 
I just feel like this did a lot of justice for Cole since he had never gotten a season before. Yes, he had gotten focus, but he never got his own traditional season. So we got a lot for Cole and we got a lot for um Wu. Not well not really much, but we got a lot for Cole and Wu and they had some pretty nice moments together. So yeah. Um that's really basically everything for good. I mean, I know it might not seem like a lot, but it is a lot, really, because it's really, like, the most parts of the show. But now let's get into the, the things that I didn't really like. To start off, the Skull Sorcerer, the villain himself. I just found him pretty generic, and I just didn't really find him that interesting. And he was, I don't know, he was just meh to me you know i didn't really like him that much which speaking of skull sorcerer let's talk about the twist with the skull sorcerer and king vangelis i found it again pretty generic i we I, it was all right it was okay but we've gotten better twists in ninjago so i just it really didn't really make my jaw drop or anything but i was like oh okay yeah he's he's okay cool um, another thing is the swords, the two swords. I know they were supposed to mean something at the end, but I just really found them disappointing and useless. And they were hyped up for the whole season, and they did nothing. Except block a couple of blasts from the skull. Which, speaking of the skull, let's talk about that. I found him annoying, but... I don't know what about him. I just didn't I, I didn't like him at all. He was annoying. I don't know why. I just didn't like him. Um yeah. Another thing is Misako just came up out of nowhere. Where was she the whole of Prime Empire and season 11? Where was she? She just pops out of nowhere and gives just She's acting weird. I don't like Misako, honestly. She just came out of nowhere. It was weird. But, yeah. That's really it for things I didn't like. Honestly, there were a few that I did not like about the season. The season was a really good season, and I really enjoyed it. A lot of things I did like. Oh, right. Another thing that I did like. At the end, they, we got some pretty nice moments. Like, how we see... Everyone just coming together, everyone, the Upli, the Gekko, the Munts, the people of Shintaro, the Ninja, everyone there. Just, like, a coronation, I'm pretty sure is what it's, it's, what it's called, when uh, someone is becoming a queen or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's like a coronation, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, right? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I probably am wrong. But we got some pretty nice moments with that. And also at the end with Cole and Vanya, where Vanya was just saying, hey, if you need my help, you can tell me. So I feel like that was a bit of foreshadowing that we're going to get her in future seasons a bit. Because Ninjago, they do like to bring back older characters, as I, uh, as we've seen with Ronin, Skylar, Cyrus Borg, a lot of these characters. They like to bring back to help in future seasons in any way. So I feel like they will bring back Vanya, especially because she was so useful with all the things that she knew about history of Ninja and Shintaro. So I feel like they should bring her back in the future, in any season, whether it's next season, which I don't think they will. But I f they just sh they should just bring her back because I feel like she could be very useful, like Skylar or Cyrus Borg or even Ronin. People like that, I feel like she would be a good like choice for an ally that they can choose you know so yeah that's really most of the season i really like the season honestly oh and let's get to the designs i really liked the designs most of them except for zane and jay's jay's the front was very plain and i did not like it it was just boring and Zane's, I feel like the white and the gold and the light blue just did not match. I feel like it was weird and I just, I didn't like it as much. Well, not as much as I didn't like Jay's. 
but still wasn't one of my favorites. But the designs overall are pretty cool, and I like them. Um, oh, yes, other things. Well, I'm forgetting. I am now just remember so many things that I liked about this series. The season, I meant. At the end, when I just said that I didn't... That I finished all the things that I liked. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I also really like that we got Shintaro in general. Um, it was pretty cool that we're just opening Ninjago from more than just a couple villages in Ninjago City. Because those are like the main places that they go. And I just like that we're going to other places. And I like that they didn't make it another realm. Even though the box art had the... the like the realm portal so it made it look like we were going to another realm but it wasn't another realm so i like that um so i just like that we're opening the world to more places okay i thought that was pretty nice um and another thing i like that they didn't make the gecko in the months evil or part of the villains i like that they were just innocent and i found them really enjoyable like i said i liked the months and the geckles i'm just glad they didn't make them evil or any of the any of like you know like like the soldiers if you guys know what i mean like like the skeleton army like you know the soldiers you know something like that i like that they didn't make them part of the bad guys so uh, that was pretty nice and also at the end seeing all the geckles in the months fight together against Griefbringer and all the skeletons and all of them was really nice. It was a great moment at the end. Overall, this season has a lot of great moments and I, a lot of funny moments too. Like um, when Cole was saying like, blah, 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 you know, like no one's going to save you, blah, blah, blah. Like about Skull Sorcerer's evil speech. I thought that was funny and like true. Because that's literally what they say whenever they capture a ninja and they're about to win. No one's coming to save you. We're about to win, you know. And I like how Lloyd also said, us ninja have like have a specialty for popping up when you least expect expect it when we're when you're about to win. And he's like, nah. And he does. So I just found those funny. This season had a lot of funny moments that I really enjoyed, and it had a lot of great moments for both characters and just in general so this was a really good season and overall i really liked it it was it's honestly one of my favorite seasons and a good way to give cole his very first season a season that we've been waiting for a long time now for the final time for the final series of or for the final episode of this series tribute to cole week rest in peace kirby morrow we will forever miss you and you will always be in our hearts.